Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about side skirts. And so, uh, Scott, side skirts are definitely something that a lot of people kind of shy away from, just mainly because whenever they look at them, they are so long, they're a lot bigger job, and of course some people don't have a large enough tank. So, kind of wanted to shoot a quick little video and show you guys kind of how we prep out some of our side skirts that we get in uh, whenever we're doing a job like that. And so that way, hopefully this will help you out whenever you do have a job with side skirts or anything that is long um, like a side skirt on a vehicle. So uh, you can kind of see here, we've got a side skirt off of a uh, Corvette. Now this is gonna be off of a C6 Corvette. Um, pretty much you can get these um, all in carbon fiber. Um, you can get them in fiberglass. They have all different kinds, plastic, everything like that. Um, it doesn't really matter too much about that, more or less the way that it's built and also the length of it. So number one, the length is definitely going to be a big concern because if you don't have a large enough tank to dip this in, then you probably can't take the job. Um, you could possibly put a line right in the middle and do it half and half, but there again, you have a line right down the middle, and especially if it's carbon fiber, good luck lining that up, because inevitably, your carbon is never gonna line up exactly perfect, and so there will always be a noticeable line in most every case. So um, that's something to definitely keep in mind. So we do have a large enough tank. Uh, we're actually not even gonna be using any dividers, and so we're able to fit this in the tank, just barely, but, we are able to fit it in there. So kind of wanted to talk a little bit about how we have this set up, why we're gonna be dipping it like this and everything like that. And then of course, we'll show you guys the dip. So first off, you can kind of see, I've got a whole bunch of tape everywhere on this entire part. So let's kind of break that down and show you guys and tell you guys why we're gonna be doing this. So number one, it's a very large piece. Um, whenever I'm doing large pieces like this, I always wanna try to overthink it, so then that way, whenever I go to dip it, I get the best possible result, and it stretches everywhere that it needs to, as well as I'm not wasting film, because if I'm wasting film, then I'm losing profit. So, a um, couple of things is, is number one, you can kinda of see I've got holes all along through here to actually bolt this onto the car. So. Normally, this wouldn't be a, a problem, and it probably wouldn't be, but just in the sake of error, I wanted to err on the side of caution, and then that way, I just went ahead and I plugged all of those up with just some tape on the back side. So, you can kind of see that we've got here, we've just got just slits of tape that we've just tore off, and you can see all along this back side here. So, we have covered up all these holes that are right here. And so, we've also done that on the back side right here where they attach on the back and then as well as up here on the front as well. So now the other thing is that we've got is that you'll notice that I've got one big piece of tape that goes all the way across this back side. And so the reason that we actually have that is is to help pull the film over that edge. And so what I mean by that is, is if you look at a profile view like this right here, you can see we've got a nice little curve that comes up like that. So a lot of the times if I'm dipping, if you dip it straight down just like this right here or it's angled or however, if it's coming down like this, a lot of the times the film will come up pretty good to right here, but it doesn't actually want to roll backwards into itself. And so that's where having this tape does help. The other thing is, is you have to be cautious on the angle. So if you was to just go just like this, the odds of you getting that film to come up and over is fairly slim. But what we're gonna actually do is whenever we're dipping, we're actually going to dip it like this. So then now, as it rolls over, it has an easier chance of coming backwards into it just a little bit and continuing to roll up against this edge right here. And so that's why we wanted to back tape this whole edge because it has a nice roll right around it here. And so that way, if we turn it just that little bit, and again, we can cock it sideways and up just like that. Uh, whenever we turn it like this to, roll, to dip with it, 
the, the air can escape out this way and it can also escape out this way and also by turning it like this we're able to get it to come all the way up and around and then whenever it hits this back tape line right here it's able to roll up and around and keep going so it helps pull the remaining part that's coming up as it's going down into the water it pulls it up as well and lets it pull itself into the actual part instead of coming up and then the water rushes in because it breaks over this line and then it breaks away. So one thing to definitely do, like I said, because of the roll that we have that comes over it, we do wanna go ahead and back tape it. Now again, um, it's kinda of more of, uh, it doesn't have to be like that. You can easily come back in black in all the back side of this because technically this side is actually the bottom and so the the side skirt would sit just like this so technically all we're uh, actually looking at is this bottom edge here so inevitably if it's on a corvette um, unless you get on the ground and you're laying down there and you're looking and it's like right there okay yeah maybe nobody will see it but it's a point of um handing it to the customer like this right here and then the customer can flip it around do whatever and they see that the job is completely all the way around the entire part then that's what makes you as a business a better professional because you're able to wrap it all the way around as well as um, especially down in here for it to curve like this and as you're coming down with it this will really help in helping pull that film all the way up and around that edge so the other thing that we've got is is that i have tape tabs like normal y'all seen these before i have tape tabs right here now the one thing is is you notice i'm not like right in the middle of it right and so i'm actually towards this one edge right here because it's light enough that i can still maneuver it as well as if i'm dipping then i can hold it up here and dip it all the way down like this and then as i'm dipping once i'm done right here then i've only got maybe this much of my arm down into the water if i move these to back here now i've got all the way up to here down in the water which isn't a big deal but inevitably it's a lot easier to hold it right here i can still contain it i can still maneuver it the way that i need to as well as i don't have print going all the way up my arm so it makes it a little bit easier to dip um, so hopefully this has really helped you out um, again every side skirt is going to be different but because we do have the curve around here we back taped that we also taped off the holes just to make sure that no water beats into here and then blows out our print going this way as well as we've also got it taped around into here so then that way we can help continue this print going all the way around so now for the big deal we're going to roll out the film now again we're probably only going to use about this much film because that's about all we need it's just mainly just a big long straight piece but we're going to lay this out cut it we're going to dip both of them and uh, show you guys the end result as well just like normal and um, also show you dipping it and all of that so we're going to roll this out so stay tuned okay so what we've got here is we've already got everything taped up just like what we were saying before um, and then we have also got everything already prepped now we have already painted this with our um, charcoal metallic gray um, and now it's ready to be dipped so um, again we don't need a lot of room for extra we just need a little bit to help wrap up and over this side and we need probably about an inch or two to come over just to make sure that we have plenty of room on both sides now again on something like this because it's so long we're actually going to be using the entire length of the tank which is still fine but we're probably going to cut it a little bit longer and then that way we know for sure that we have more than enough to dip it all the way down into the water so the biggest thing to remember is on this is that slow and steady and just going nice and steady all the way in it's going to make it look really nice and then definitely don't get in a hurry with your activator so um, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to get this cut, we're going to get it in the water and show you guys how to dip it, so stay tuned. No, it'll be fine. 
All right, so we got everything laid in here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set our timer, which we've got going right now. And so the biggest thing to remember about this is, is that you wanna make sure that you have a nice, smooth, and even pass all the way across. Don't get in a hurry. You don't wanna overactivate it. It is a larger dip. Um, so just take your time, activate it, put the right amount on there, and then everything should go pretty well. So let's grab some gloves on and then we'll get started. So right now our water temperature is sitting at about 83 degrees Fahrenheit. And then of course on a job like this, we definitely want to make sure that we push this over. We got a little bit excess, not a big deal. Um, but you always want to make sure on a longer piece like this, that you definitely have enough activator in your gun. You don't wanna have it uh, too low, and then you're about halfway through and it starts to spit, and then of course you just wasted all that film and all of that. Um, so, timer's about to go off. Let's grab the gun and get started. going to double check everything make sure everything looks good which it does and then we'll start right at this edge over here move it at that angle like what we talked about Now you still want to keep the same angle going all the way down into the water. And then there we go. Now that we've got that, we'll pull this out. All right. Now that we got that, everything looks really good. Um, we've got very straight lines, so I think the customer is definitely going to like it. We'll throw it in the rinse station, get it rinsed off, and hit the other side and do it again. So stay tuned. So we'll go for round two, get the other side dipped, and then show you guys how it comes out. Uh, as you saw on the first dip, it came out really good. We had one nice, smooth, fluid pass all the way across with the activator, and then pretty much dipped it. Now, the one thing to remember is, is that we did actually put tape along the longer sides of this. Now, you don't have to, but because this film, especially on very long pieces, which is the CF-282, um, it does want to roll up sometimes on a larger piece like that. We went ahead and just made a small little tape border just to make sure that it didn't roll up or anything like that. So that way, whenever we go to spray our activator, we can go ahead and just dip it and we're good to go. We don't have to worry about it. It was this big and now it rolled into that big. So let's get some gloves on and then we'll spray the activator and get started. Now again, you still want to keep that same angle going all the way down. And into the water. And once we have that, we'll kind of move that out of the way. Pull that back out. There you go.
dip turned out really nice. We got really nice coverage all the way around. Of course, the carbon looks very nice and straight. Uh, there's not hardly any hesitation lines or anything. So we're gonna go ahead, go it in the rinse station, get it all rinsed off and then um, get it clear cut and show you guys the end result, so stay tuned. All right, so now that we got all of these uh, dipped, we got everything rinsed off, we shot some clear on it, parts came out amazing. I think the customer's definitely going to love it, and I think you guys will too. So, of course, uh, what we used on this is we used our European clear on that. Um, if you want to find out more details on that, you can check the description below. That's going to have it on there. And um, so pretty much, we got everything all smoothed out. Everything looks really nice. We've got a very good gloss around this entire part, all carbon. Uh, even got a really good hit on that edge down there. And of course, you know, you're never gonna see these edges right back here, but it actually did lay in really nice all the way down and through here and everywhere like that. So I think the customer is definitely going to like the end result on it. So uh, if you've enjoyed watching this video definitely give us a thumbs up we'd always love to uh, have that and also if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below uh, we'd love to hear from you on anything that you've got as far as carbon fiber hydrographics dipping anything like that uh, also if you haven't already definitely hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks videos that we put out every week i'm brian from liquid concepts we're making hydrographics great again see you guys next time